a section by name 3311.242, proposal to transfer territory, semicolon process. The essence of that uh, section of the budget bill was that it allowed for uh, areas that had uh, two or more school districts uh, to uh, petition by virtue of an initiative uh, to change the school district from X to Y. Uh, Hills and Dales uh, uniquely is uh, one of those uh, territories uh, because we are geographically in the uh, township of Jackson, but for years uh, the school district that uh, has uh, our uh, students uh, uh, playing local. Um, Plain Local filed uh, a lawsuit uh, almost uh, uh, instantaneously with the passage of, of this bill, uh, suggesting that the bill was uh, unconstitutional and listing any number of reasons why they thought that. Uh, after uh, a couple of hearings, the judge uh, indicated to the parties that he was uh, very likely going to uh, dismiss that lawsuit unless Plain dismissed it first. And Plain's attorneys, uh, they're represented by a law firm, Omer Brown and Homer uh, uh, Byrne, Homer Byrne in Akron, and they chose to dismiss. Uh, the, the bill, uh, the 3311.242 section of the bill uh, became effective uh, in October. Uh, it was not effective immediately because it is uh, a bill that does not involve uh, a budget item and uh, the state provides for uh, a, a delay on these uh, other items. Once the bill became uh, law, uh, uh, the village then um, started the process of uh, putting together a petition uh, to uh, request that Hills and Dales uh, vote on the prospect of, of uh, migrating from Jackson, from Plain to Jackson. Uh, I took that petition, there were those petitions, there were a number of them. Uh, signed by 73 uh, residents of the village, to the uh, Plain Local Superintendent. Uh, uh, the Plain Local uh, had a board meeting uh, last Wednesday, and it is our understanding that at that board meeting they uh, took up the issue of the petitions uh, and chose to table that. Uh, simultaneously, on Wednesday, uh, we were, uh, we became aware that they had filed a second lawsuit. Uh, the Plain Local School District is the plaintiff. Uh, we are in, uh, we are in uh, high company. Uh, Mike DeWine was sued uh, as the governor. Uh, uh, Paula DeMaria as the superintendent of public instruction for the state of Ohio. 19 board members were sued individually, uh, and uh, the four members of the Stark County Board of Elections were also named as defendants in the lawsuit. Uh, at that point, uh, it became clear that uh, we needed to be represented. Uh, the previous lawsuit, we were not a defendant, although the name Hills and Dales Village came up a lot in the lawsuit, but we were not a named party, so we had no reason to seek counsel. Uh, we are now a named defendant, and uh, and uh, so we think that it's imperative that uh, the village be represented uh, by outside counsel. 